Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Now, last time we got the magnetic gloves. And this is a pretty useful item, and um, I suppose it does require a, require a bit of skill in order to master it. Basically, it's going to start out as S, and this N ball, which stands for North, if you know magnetism, then you know that opposites attract and like like um poles will repel from each other so that's how you work those things now let's see where was I oh I know I had to do something and there are some other rolls that um the magnetic gloves will solve. See, I don't know. I don't want to go back there. I want to go over here. Yeah, I didn't think that would work on those guys. But let's go over here and see if it'll do anything. No, that's not going to do anything. I guess we'll have to go through the stairs once again. So Nintendo Capri Sun started his uh, new LP of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And I just watched the first part and... The intro I thought was pretty nice. I wish I could do something like that. Well, I don't know, maybe I could. I was thinking of, um... Well, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say it yet. I could just leave it a surprise. But anyways, what he did was, um... If, as you know, in Twilight Princess, you have to... Name your horse. Now, you can name it... Defaultly, you can name it Epona. Or, you can name it whatever. So, what Nintendo Capri Sun did is... He asked his subscribers to leave a comment. Stating the name of what the horse his name should be. Now, if you've seen his Mother 3 LP, then I guess it was kind of obvious to some, and not me, that the horse should be named Hanawa, which is Lucas's and Klaus's mother. See, here's one of those um, balls that I mentioned earlier. Just gotta move it out of our way. there. Now you can basically ju just use this as a shortcut. Another thing you can do is with these um, mask guys, you can pull their mask off. It doesn't matter which polarity you use as long as you just hold it down for a couple of seconds. You have to be right in front of them though. Oh great, I hate this room. Yeah, so the name I suggested for Nintendo Capri Sun to name his horse was Leona. Don't know why, I just did. Alright. Alright, now I have the compass. I hate these kind of puzzles. Well, they aren't really puzzles, they're just... You know, platforming. If I used my Pegasus Seeds, that, that would probably help a lot. See, I'm pretty sure I can get over to that other side by using those S-blocks that you'll see from standing right here. Now you see I pushed back. That's because it stands for south. And as we know, or as any magnetic um, expert would know, opposites attract, and like polarities repel each other. Alright, this key will be useful. Later. Well, I don't know, probably very soon. 
If I can remember where the uh, key goes to. Just gotta think. But at least I can see where the treasure chests are. Maybe I should have gone, uh... Yeah, I should have gone another way. So I'm actually not doing too bad. It's been six minutes, though. I haven't done all that much, but I've done some things. And at least I'm making progress, unlike my um, other LP that's going on right now. I love how the uh, sprite just kind of shakes just before the masks come off. See, I gotta wait for that thing to come out or else I'm gonna fall to my death. And then you pull that. Oops. Shit. Shit. Well, at least I killed him. Hopefully I can get to the heart. If you press it really quickly, you'll be able to get the treasure chest. Or the other side of the um, wall. Or pit. See, what dungeon is this anyway? Oh, this is level 5, huh? Wow, only three more dungeons after this? That's kind of, um... That's kind of nice. See, I'm not sure how to get to those other treasure chests, but... I'm pretty sure we'll need at least one of them. Or maybe two. Shit. Fuck that up. See, um... I think I can... Yeah, I can use a slingshot. Oh. Well, at least I know you can hit it with Ember Seeds, even though that doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, let's see what's up here. More of those red blob things. Who I hate. Yeah, I didn't think this would work. So I guess I'll have to go around somehow. Okay, I know how to do this. This is actually pretty obvious. Just kinda gotta guide it through. There you go. The door will be open. Of course you gotta swim to it. Um... I'm not exactly sure what that did. If that did anything. Oh. Well, how, how am I supposed to get over there? Maybe I'm supposed to push it a certain way. Or maybe there's some kind of underwater cavern that I have to go through. Or maybe not. Maybe if I re... No, wait. Maybe if I re-enter the room, it'll give me more of a chance to figure out what I'm doing. Alright, it's still on there, so that's good. Well, that's odd. If I can push this, well then what's supposed to happen? Is it just like a tease or something? It's weird. I'm sure I'm going to realize I was being an idiot later on, and then go back to it reg regrettably. Let's see, we're almost up to our time limit, actually. I think I might have to practice this dungeon off-screen, off and probably the next um, three dungeons to make sure I know what I'm doing. You know, as a refresher, since I've already played this game a lot. Hmm. See, this is the one with their, uh... 
things, isn't it? The knights that you have to defeat in a certain order. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to stop the video off right here, and I will see you guys later.